Hi guys, Dr. Hampton here again with Alicia Archer, who was my guest on my Protecting Your Nest podcast episode number 40, where we talked about all the health benefits of stretching and many other topics. I will provide a link, of course, to that episode in the show notes. So you say you don't have enough time to exercise. Alicia may have some tips that will allow you to get just enough exercise in And you know how hard it is, but you got to do it if you're going to achieve your health-related goals. So Alicia, time is so valuable. It's such a valuable commodity. What's your tips on getting enough exercise in in a short amount of time? I think not overlooking five minutes is probably the best way to approach this goal uh, because I've been one to overlook exercise if I don't have a set amount of time, for example, 30 minutes or an hour. And then you reason with yourself, well, that's nothing. Why even bother? You absolutely should bother because the more you carve out time to exercise, and it doesn't have to be high intensity, it doesn't have to be super advanced. It could be anything that's appropriate for your fitness level to keep you safe and injury free, of course. And eventually you will learn those moments of your day that that just find themselves there because we always can make time. Sometimes we just choose not to, and that's okay. But once you found the five minutes and then it turns into 10 and then it turns into 15, you'll slowly start to develop a habit. And you'll also start to realize how that influences your environment. And maybe you'll just have dumbbells out Because when you see them there, you're like, okay, let me use them. Or you keep your yoga mat out. Okay, let me get down and do something. And then everything starts to transform from your time management to how you hold your space. Well, then make it so that you have to move. It's not, the time cannot be compromised, it's non negotiable. And then eventually, those five, 10, 15 minute increments will turn into the half hour, an hour sessions that you've been longing to do before. And then some days is shorter, but then you'll, you'll become your own boss in terms of your exercise routine. And then your body will then ask you for it because when you start to feel less pain, you'll start to feel the mood boosting benefits, the clarity and the focus you can't help but to move whether it's a hip circle or a lunge, you'll I, I do it, it and, and it'll find your way into your life. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I When I started um, exercising regularly, um, it was a mental thing I just had to do. And as there's so many days I was in the bathroom, I forgot it was an exercise day. And I would just do push-ups and squats in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just, you know, so I, 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 that resonates with me. And I, and then once you, that, it's like, that's who you become. It's like, that's what you do. So I yes. appreciate uh, everything you're saying. It resonates with me. So thanks again for your tips. I appreciate you. And I am very sure that my subscribers have found that very useful. So if you're looking for a little bit more from Alicia, She has her own YouTube channel and Instagram under Kinky Sweat, where she inspires her followers with, you know, fitness, body movement, hair and beauty. And of course, please like and subscribe and comment on this video. And until we meet again, be well and continue to protect your nest.